Good day, Tamers. I should have probably done this earlier since we knew what all the shinies were last Friday, I think. Or was it Saturday or Sunday? A little bit busy over the weekend and last few days you've seen the videos coming out. But nonetheless, we're going to go over the alt arts that were announced and complain that Agumon and Gabmon did not get them. But that being said, let's just jump into it with a Falkenmon here, looking very handsome. Love the whole like, ninja aspect that is essentially this deck and Falcon himself. I do wish I had guessed Falcon, but I did think that the rookies for the DNA deck would probably be the ones that would get the Altarts, just because it made more sense that they put a lot of effort into that, making that deck probably the best one out of EX4. Then we have Ravemon, which I did say was probably going to be one of the ones you need to have at least one purple to give to. We do have Chaos Calamon. I don't know why, I just thought even though it's a rare, it was going to get the altar just because it seems like it was a key card to the deck that they wanted to implement. And if you look at this, it is actually a reference to a BT5 where Gallatmon is actually fighting Omnimon, and in this case, it looks like uh, Gallatmon might be winning. Go over to Medi, and this is probably my favorite art. Look at this, You've got all the nice embossments on the cape, all this extra detail, all the crimples on the cape, the uh, markings on the pauldrons. Court looks fantastic. Got the nice jade tip here. It could be brass, could be bronze. Uh, obviously, down the glaive. I think it's the glaive. And then, obviously, the nice etchings here on top of the blade of the glaive. Bruce looked pretty cool, but no, this is like, look at that face mess. It looks so stern and angry. Oh, Gallop and stuff. You know, I love it. I do think he was essentially like the coolest looking thing here. I do wish this was better, this effect. Um, and I always love the fact that I always say that Gallop was like the greenest red deck available. But obviously, now in EX4, it's green. So my theories are horribly in place yet again. No, I did presume this would get an alt art, possibly. And it did. All the S on this set got an alt art, funnily enough. The beautiful Victory Greymon here. It always looks cool. Look at this chunky man. But unfortunately, I don't think the cards are do much for the whole set or the meta. But again, fantastic looking art. And going into this handsome Gurumon. I wish this one here so I can actually see his face. No, again, it looks very nice. Very clean, very futuristic looking robot boy. And I did choose this one as one of the other ones that would be alt arted. Tell you what, I didn't see this coming, but when I did do the list, I didn't. No, the last three cards, which is this, the alt, and I think one of the option cards. Um, if I saw this, I probably still wouldn't have picked it, but looking at what they've done for the altar, it looks absolutely amazing. And if I grab one of these from a box, I probably won't be disappointed if it's like just a color quick card. But no, they've actually outdone themselves here, and this is just a fantastic looking card. Uh, Assistant always, but sometimes the uh, the big brains, right? Now, this is one of the ones I was kind of on the fence for if it would get an alt art. Obviously, it is an armor form, and armor forms do tend to get alt arts just because they like alt arting all the armor forms, except if your name is Submary, uh, Shuri, Shadra, just because obviously the deck it came from, and Lydramon. One day, hopefully, we'll get those altered, or at least Lydramon, because the poor thing needs uh, that little bit of extra love. But no, this is one of the ones I wasn't too sure if you should get an alt art, as it isn't one of those rares that get an alt art. It will look very nice in the deck that this would go into, which is obviously a Vemon armor deck. I did think this was going to get alt arted. It just made sense that they wanted to cross the Dark Knight stuff and the Blue Flare stuff. And this is obviously the only card that really kind of does it synergizing well enough. It does make sense. It's also just a fancy looking card. Look how angry uh, Zeeg looks with uh, Mr. Dark Knight here looking just menacing as ever. I do think it's really cool. Uh, I'm also concerned about the whole like uh, lower body phallic image thing. At this angle, it doesn't look too bad. It does just look like a, a knight riding his, in this case, dragon thing into a battle. I did say Gao would probably get it just because it makes sense that the old Gao had it. So this Gao should also probably get the altar. And it's going to be nice to have the two cards going on top of each other that look fantastic and beautiful like this. Gao hasn't seen much of a price rise if anyone's interested. So probably look at getting some of those before they do start selling out in case this card does go crazy. It's nice to have a deck where you can go Gao into Gao. I did say this will be one of the alter arts, and I'm super happy with it. It looks so fantastic. I love all this uh, action posing and all the static coming off of it from the uh, Plasma Blaster. I do, do, I know, you can just feel like the weight of the card, as this uh, Digimon is probably just a chunky machine boy. But no, I do think this looks fantastic, and I am so happy for this. This one, on the other hand, I'm not 100% sure if I like it or not. I can't tell if this is meant to be his eye, or if it's just meant to be his cheek covering the eye. If I, if I could see the eye, I think I'd probably be happy and say this is like a fantastic piece, but I feel like they've just like coloured it in and forgot about it. Uh, in all respects, it could just be that you've got golden eyes and just the angle is just really weird, so I can't really see it from here. Maybe when we get the cards in hand, it'll look much better, but I am a bit concerned that this doesn't look as, great, as good as the other one. Although, action shot's got the wind going here, got the debris flying in the air. So, it's still a fairly good looking card, but I'd like to see uh, this probably in hand. Probably with all the textures as well on the wind will probably look really good. This, I think I did call it, 
But I was kind of concerned if they would or wouldn't do this. Um, this is also done by the artist that did the alternate art Mega Cargo for, I think, the Tamer box set. So it just gives me, basically gives me the same sort of vibes as that. If you look at them, they are very similar. But it looks quite good. I don't understand why he's burning up a oil refinery. But, you know, we've got to save the planet by burning more fuel, right? Um, dark Safi, Evil Safi, Black Safi. I don't know what this is meant to be, but I do like the art. I do like the menacingness here. It makes sense that this has got an alt art and this has got an alt art. So this should get an alt art. But I'm happy to see this here. It does look fantastic and I think it looks really cool. Uh, what they've done. Although, again, I'm not sure if it needed it. But it's just nice that they've done it just because it's a cool looking card. This is one of the ones I was on the fence of. I can't remember if I said that it was going to be altered or not. I think it might have been one of my yellow choices. It makes sense because obviously made modes altered. Uh, I think most of the suckers are now altered. So it makes sense that now they have this one altered. Especially since this deck wants to just constantly float in between each other. There you go. Sucker right into made, made into this, this into this into sucker. And just essentially go for everything, getting all your option cards off and just constantly spinning, recycling and just going through. You gotta try and win the game though at some point and not just keep sucking the cards until you either like lose too much memory or you just don't do anything anymore. Now this guy just He looks very cool. I love how they've done this. Got the Starfire effect, got the capes looking all uh, menacing. You got obviously just the uh, user's ability just digital, so it's all sparkling and digital energy. Got this giant uh, data frame at the behind you in the front of you here. Oh, they've done such a good job with this, and I can't wait for this to be like the only expensive card in the set. Probably after this bad boy here. Oh, baby. They uh, they definitely made these two cars look just amazing. And I look forward to trying to get hold of these and being super expensive, but being amazing at the same time. Hopefully, we'll get the same situation over here where every box has at least three alts in and then possibly a secret, as that would be the best thing possible for most people. As I want this so badly, and I want this so badly, and I want uh, this. No, not you. This so badly, and this so badly, and Agumon and Gabon so badly. Uh, and then this is our last ult from the box itself, which is the secret rare Ruin Mode. It does look much better than the actual Ruin Mode, to me, so I haven't really had a chance to look at it properly. But now actually looking at it, it does look pretty cool. I don't know how good it is with the last stuff. I've not really looked into it too much. It's purple-yellow, which I actually didn't notice before either. And then we're getting kind of tame stuff. Was it the uh, data stuff in BT13? So with Burst Mode coming out, it might be good. Depending on like, what you need to do. So maybe have one of each. We'll see. Currently though. Speculation being. It looks cool. I just don't know if it's going to be that fantastic. A lot of people say it's like a, a kind of a win more card. Or a do more card. But not really a like progressive the deck more card. Then we have access to these cool guys. So box toppers. I did say if we were going to get alt art tamers. That was going to take up six of my slots. Which is why I, I guessed. I think like 10 things right out of the, the 18. Or 12 things right. But no we got the cool. Uh, alt art tamers here. I think this is fantastic. I look forward to seeing this in shiny. Yes, I want a place of this. And then we also got access to this goddamn gorgeous thing because it's is uncommon, but it will come in foil as a box top. But I don't know if we're going to get foils in our stuff as standard, so we might get um, different cards or like the option cards that are foil in this as something else, or we get maybe like a different treatment. Like this might be a texture treatment as opposed to just like a foil in the packs. But again, I don't know how we're going to get our EX stuff and if we're going to get foils and our EX stuff of comments and uncomments. Then they shows this artwork here, which if you didn't know was the alt art of the defeat, which is gorgeous. What they've done essentially is they've zoomed out a bit more so you've got more artwork, more sword, more gun. And they put it on a, a cool looking uh, scratched up background, which isn't the same as this. That's cast in the background. Um... No, I think they've done a really good job here by just giving it a bit more of a mystic data because it's meant to be, I think, a plug-in at the back of there on top of this. But no, it's really cool. Uh, I do own one of these, fortunately enough. But if this somehow dropped into my lap, I wouldn't be too upset with it because it looks really cool. Also looks quite textured as well, as you, as you can tell. Uh, the Tamers, all the Tamers got the alt art treatment for box stoppers. This does look quite nice. I do like the change in colour here and obviously the rainbow pattern going across. Hopefully it looks nice in person. I am hoping to have that weird texture we get with the alt art tamers. Then we got our uh, rage one tamer here. I'm just going to remember his name. Uh, again, if you're all interested in those decks, obviously it's nice to have the alt arts where you can get. Again, we got Henry and Susie. I can't remember what their actual names are. But again, we've got the nice yellow leaking into the greens and vice versa. Going browns and blues. And, you know, things really nice. Makes more sense. I don't know if you can ever play like two of these, two of the Henrys, two of the Susies and try and do like some weird like Lotman. Uh, Terrabon plays and gaining memories and shenanigans. Probably can. Need to look into it more though. And then you got the altar of this plugin, which I think looks fantastic. Um, I don't know if 
Gargamon can digivolve into Black Gargamon and vice versa. I don't think it can. I think it's just like a nice imagery thing. But no, I think it's really cool. Obviously, this does go between good and brackets bad and main mode. So it kind of makes some sense. And the last of this stuff is this now. So thank you for being here, guys. You've probably already seen this before. And if you haven't, do leave a like or a comment or what's your favorite or what card did not get altered that you would have liked to find. Personally speaking, I would have liked to have seen the Agumon and the Gabmon get altered instead of maybe Black Galga and then maybe like Seraphia. I think Seraphia looks, I think they both look really cool, but I do think that I'd have preferred those two rookies as alt arts instead of these. We are meant to be getting a TCG exclusive alt art, but it's of a super rare, but all the super rares are currently altered. So hopefully we get the Agu and Gab, maybe, if we're lucky. Never said, thank you for being here, and we'll see you guys next time for another episode of Agito Does Something Terribly Wrong in the Digimon Community. Peace out, and goodbye. You guys have some fun right now. See ya.